Putin sparks EU chaos as he finds way to avoid sanctions. Biden forced to step in. Vladimir Putin has hit back at the EU by demanding that Russia's gas only be purchased with rubles amid the threat of more sanctions. But Joe Biden might step in as he eyes up a new deal with the bloc. While crippling economic sanctions have battered Russia amid its invasion of Ukraine. The EU has been slower than others to target Putin's energy empire. But as leaders of the 27 nations meet in Brussels today to discuss options that could finally deal a blow to Russian energy, Putin may have made them think twice. The Russian president said on Wednesday that a list of unfriendly countries, including EU members and the US, would only be allowed to purchase gas using Russian rubles. He said, I made the decision to implement within the shortest possible time the package of measures to transfer payments. We will start with that, for our natural gas supply to the so-called unfriendly states to Russian rubles. Experts suspect this is Putin's attempt to swerve fresh sanctions. Timothy Ash, an emerging market sovereign strategist at Blue Bay Asset Management, said, it's a game, it's trying to bully the West to moderate sanctions. He wants to force the West, if they want to continue with energy imports from Russia, to transact with Russian entities. This is an attempt to break sanctions, to weaken the resolve of the West. Francesco Giovazzi, an economic advisor to Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi, said at an event on Wednesday. Paying in rubles would be a way to avoid sanctions, so I think we keep paying in euros. Two senior Western EU officials told Politico the EU would not be able to accept these demands and have to abandon Russian gas entirely. This comes as the bloc currently lags behind its allies, with the US already having slapped an embargo on Russia's oil and gas. The UK has pledged to phase out Russian oil by the end of the year and is looking at options to cut Putin's gas to. Although it only accounts for 4% of Britain's total supplies.